shoulder arm by the hand pull over the shoulder and chest. Good morning, guys. We got a couple of us. Off we go to the races. Very nice. Come on up. Come on over here's a spot. Over there is also a spot. So anyway, uh, we've been looking at what we do in the church service, and uh, today I want us to look at the scripture reading. So we're going to look at the scripture readings. We, remember we always start, we confess our sins, we receive, let me finish this thought real quick. We, we receive forgiveness, and uh, we've been singing songs to hear us singing, and now we are at the place where we look and we read the Bible. Do you see this? It says the first reading. Listen, how many readings are there? It says the first reading, and over here it says the second reading, and there it says the Gospels. How many readings do we have? One more. Three. All right. So everybody agree that? Three readings, right? And one of them comes from the Old Testament, and one of them comes from the epistles. That's a fancy word for even letter. I think we'll write that. Hmm? Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure what you're trying to tell me this morning, but I want to say Old Testament, letter, and gospel reading. And when the readers read them, and they say this is the word of the Lord. It's the Bible. It's the Bible. The Bible is God's gift. So, I may not read this morning, all right? Uh, the Bible is the way to read the Bible. It's too early for that, right? So, um, Bible is God's word to us. And the reader says, this is the word of the Lord. And what do we say? Congregation, what do we say? Thanks be to God. I right? rejoice to hear the word of God. Now, one reading, all the readings are important, but one reading, Stand up for it. You notice that? We do this every week. We stand up for what? Gospel. It's gospel. And we stand up for the gospel because that's about the life of Jesus. Right? So Jesus came and we hear about Jesus and what he taught and what he did, and of course, uh, his cross and his resurrection. So there's three readings. The third one we stand up because we hear especially about Jesus the Savior. Right? So it's important to hear the Lord's house and, of course, important to hear the Lord's word. So that's our uh, thought for the day about the Word of God that you hear every week. You guys can return to your spot, and uh, we will sing the hymn of the day.